Hello, hello everybody. This is Rich Kale here on YouTube. Rich Gen X elsewhere. Richard of the Classic Gamers Guild. And it is time to return to Gabriel Knight. Now, we just found out they closed the damn case. Bastards. Something's at play here. All right. Let's see. All right. Let's head to Jackson Square. Ah. Uh. It's Crash, the guy from Mosley's office. At the first sight of Gabriel, he slouches away like a beaten dog. Hmm. I wonder what he's up to. Yeah, so do I. I don't want to talk to this guy. I just don't go this way. <coughs> He's walking away. Hi, drummer boy. Let's see if we can f catch him here. Let's see if I can call out to him here. Hey, Crash, wait up! Crash only looks scared and keeps walking. Hmm. He's not gonna stand still. So, let's take advantage of something here. I'm not gonna try and follow him now. He's scared of something. <coughs> I don't think he's feeling well either. So we're gonna do this the crafty way. We're gonna observe him from afar. Four pairs. So we gotta find him. Check this one. There is nothing. Yeah, wouldn't you have it now? It's gonna be the last one to look through. Talking to the drummer. That's Crash. What the hell is he up to with that drummer? And now he's heading off. He went in the cathedral, I think. Gabriel Cat. All right. So let's take advantage of that. Hey, what are you doing here? I'm playing 
Hmm. Do you really recognize this? Where'd you get that? Why? Do you know something about, about it? No, no, it's something about it. Look at this. Crash oh, is a shirt. And Ravine's a tattoo. It's the same. same. The same. 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 It's their their line. line. The mark of the same age. Without it, they'll never, never let you get the Well, now, let's talk with him. Will you answer the question, question for me now? now. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, okay. I'll, I'll talk, talk to you a little, little. I'm making it fast. fast. Oh, he's not looking too good. Tell, tell me what you know, you know about who do. Look, look. Sticks and spikes. It, it, it was me. Really shit. shit. No, 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 I wanna know, man. Believe me. Do yourself, do yourself a favor and leave me alone. I want, I want to know about the voodoo murders. You're on the right track. <laughs> that's that's all I can say. say. I'm, I'm, I'm just busy my life, life. By, by talking about it, man. What can you tell me about New Orleans? Hey, hey, do you know anything about snakes? The eyes. Snake's eyes. Okay, calm down. down. Do you know any Okay. Okay. What can you tell me about St. John's Eve? Nothing. Do you have any idea what Cabri Saint Gaul means? I never heard of that. Okay. Do you know anything about Marie Laveau? I don't know. Tell me what you know about a secret voodoo hanfour in New Orleans. Oh, man! Sh sh shut up about that shit. Can't you see I'm sick? Are you trying to kill me? Do you know anything about animal masks? No! What do you mean? You've seen them, haven't you? Not me! Leave me alone! Do you know anything about... Veves. I never heard of that. I saw you talking to that drummer. What did you tell him? You saw me with the drummer? Nobody's supposed to see. Shit! I blew it again. I promise you won't say nothing to no one. It'll get back to him. Everything does. I promise me you won't tell anyone you saw me. Okay. But you have to tell me everything I want to know. Okay. Okay. I was sending a message, man. They have these... These, these rotter drummers posted around the quarter. They see everything. And they report. Mm. Report? How? The drums, man. It's, it's some kind of code. Aha. Uh -huh. All right. Tell me about the Rada drums. I already told you about that. All right, see. Now tell me what you know about voodoo. All I know is these people are into some weird shit. They have power. Real power. They can write your name on a piece of paper and chew it. And you end up minced meat. Like you've been through a, a, a grinder. <coughs> oh boy. They know things in their heads. Things that no one ever knew about you. They know when you lie. They can smell it. They're fucking scary, man. Mm. I, I don't know if it's the, the devil or what. But it ain't no fake shit, man. It's real. Ooh. Now tell me about the voodoo murders. They did the murders. And that's not the only way they kill. They can get you from miles away. Just by saying your name. Mm. Come on. You don't really believe that, do you? I seen it, man. You can't cross them. What 
can you do? Man. Do you know any Okay. What? <laughs> we met outside somewhere at night. I saw them last year dancing and howling. You don't want to be any anywhere near them. Do you have any idea what Caprice en Gare means? I never heard of them. Do you know any... Tell me what you know about a secret voodoo hanfour in New Orleans. Alright. There's this... Uh, this is an uh, underground cartel in... in New Orleans. A voodoo cartel. They control everything that happens on the street. I mean everything. Bought or sold. <laughs> they have their fingers in the legit world too. Banks. Foreign stuff, you name it. Oy. You see this temple. What you said, a hound for. That's their headquarters. I heard people say it's it's un underground. Uh, somewhere in the French Quarter. I don't know where. Have you ever been there? Mm -mm. Uh, no, no. I, I, I've never been in it. I, I'm a nobody. A runner, but I, I, I saw them once, out at the lake. They became animals, man. Beasts. Ouch. I remember the eyes. Uh, oh, the eyes. Hey, are you okay? The eyes. The eyes of the snake. I think I should go get a doctor. Hey, are you all right? Someone, I need help. The eyes of the snake. Dambala. Oh. What snake? Crash. Crash spasms twice more, then die as he rewarded. Oh God. Oh bastard. Yep. All right. There's no the shirt. All right, let's get that. I guess I better copy this tattoo. No. All right. Well. It's getting late. Gabriel decides to go home for the day. Okay. I think we finished day four. Since we did the... Some, some things already. And there goes Grace. Hello? It's me. I can't sleep. Oh, me neither. Can I? Yes. Come. Oi. Day five. The rose block, the truth was shunned. The white flag had been waved. Reversal cost me all I had and everything I braved. Newspaper boy. Grace. Spooky still there. Are you okay, Gabriel? Sure. Great. Why? I'm worried about you. If I were any better, Grace, I'd be dead. Now, what's up? Uh, you got another package this morning. FedEx from Germany. Mm. I was expecting that. Where is it? 
Well, it kind of came open, but I salvaged the contents. There was a letter from your great uncle Wolfgang in a journal. The package just came open, huh? How'd you like the journal? Someone <laughs> has to look after you. You're in trouble. In case you don't know it. Yeah, you've been reading my horoscope again, haven't you, Grace? Just read the journal carefully, Gabriel. Please. I got it. St. George's books. <clears throat> oh, Professor Hartridge, I'm glad you called. Did you... You did? Wait, slow down. The Aigri? Really? You think that's them? The wheel within a wheel? A goon but Aigri, huh? Well, that does sound like it. Dumbala, the snake. That's the wavy pattern at the bottom, okay. The 1791 slave revolt in Santo Domingo. Well, why would the Veve show up there? Uh huh. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Look, I'll come over as soon as I can. Okay. Relax, Professor. I'm excited too, but you're gonna give yourself a heart attack. Okay. Thanks. See ya. Mm. I wish you'd tell me what's going on. I swear you're gonna step into a hole you may never get out of. Don't look so worried. No one knows what I'm doing. I'm perfectly safe. And I'm getting <laughs> some great stuff for the book. Besides, there's something about all this. My dreams. What about your dreams? Nothing. I'll be careful, I promise. <laughs> Alright, let's check our newspaper. Times Picayune. Dated June 22nd, 1993. Disgusted with the state of the voodoo murder case, Gabriel turns right to his horoscope. The shadow upon you is no longer reversible. Wonderful. Alright, let's see what we got here. Gunter Ritter's diary is leather bound. Its parchment pages are old and fragile. Let's see, can I open it? Gabriel reads through the pages Wolfgang marked. He reads of Gunter Ritter's journey to Charleston as witch hunter, hired by the townsmen to solve a series of ritualistic murders. He reads mm. about Gunter's meeting with a beautiful slave woman, Tetolo, and of Gunter's tormenting urges for her. Oh, bastard. Mm -hmm. He reads of their physical union and passion, and of Gunter's investigations into the murders. The victims were all crew members on a certain slaving expedition to Africa, it seems. Mm. The second to the last entry described Gunter's plan to set a trap for the coven committing the murders. He found the name of one of the surviving members of the crew, a man now living in the West Indies. Mm. Gunter has spread a false rumor that the man is returning to Charleston. He himself will impersonate a sailor and allow himself to fall into the hands of the Coven. Naturally, Gunter has arranged for able-bodied assistants to follow and attack the Coven before they can do him harm. Olsey, son of a bitch, wasn't he? <laughs> Gabriel turns to the final entry of the journal. Dear Father, I offer these final words as an apology for the harm done to our sacred office. The woman I wrote of, Tatilo, was the witch I sought. I have committed terrible crimes. I loved this witch, then betrayed her, and then used our sacred family power to free her and aid her in destroying this colony. The talisman is gone. Tatilo took it. I can but pray for thy forgiveness, for thy swift recovery of the talisman, and that my punishment in hell will be long and bitter. Thy undeserving son, Gunther. Gabriel reads. He oh, best. Olsey's son. Wow. That's, <sighs> uh, deep stuff. The letter. 
Wolfgang's letter says, Dear Gabriel, please read the enclosed journal carefully. It might help you understand your family's special obligations and our current predicament. God be with you, Uncle Wolfgang. Oh boy. The letter is addressed to Heinz. It was the This is the All right. Let's talk to Grace real quick, see if there's anything she's uh got any messages. Hi creepy. Got a minute, Grace? What's up? Have you ever heard of Dumbala? Ooh, no. Makes my skin crawl though. Mm. Does Ogun Badaikri mean anything to you? No. Sorry. Okay. Do you have messages for me? Nope. All right. Time to head back out because we need to go to the university. Hi, Creepy. Hi, Creepy. I'm out of here. Try not to sell out the store while I'm gone. Don't hurry back on my account. Don't you just love them? <laughs> Back to the office. Hey, Hot Ridge, what's a good word? Hot Ridge? He's dead. Ah! Oh, God, not again. Oh, boy. Something about Hartridge's death mask reminds Gabriel of the way Crash checked out. Not a pretty ending. Some... That would... Not... I'm not... I'm not... Dr. Hartridge's on the desk is a sheet of paper with some scribble notes. It looks recent. These notes look interesting. Let's take a look at them, Gabe. Uh, uh, ah, there we are. The Agris tribe, the People's Republic of Benin, Tambala, the Ogun. Baragris. Hartridge's notes. Hartridge's notes. Those two. All right. Well, we have very little to go on now. So let's get out of here. We'll have to call the police. Before leaving the university, Gabriel notifies campus security about Hartridge's body. All right, back to the French Quarter. Let me get these new marks down. Mm-hmm. Gabriel checks the two messages for duplicate symbols. 
and transfers the letters from the matches to the new message. He finds that he has the translation for all of the symbols, except for three. Mm. DJ, keep it on GK. B do not harp. Mm. Okay. Right, I actually, uh, it's easy to figure out. DJ, keep eyes on GK. DJ, GK. Dr. John, keep eyes on GK, Gabriel Knight. But do not har harm. All right. Okay, all right. We don't need something there yet, so... DJ. Well, there's only one dot. That's Dr. John. It has to be. So, let's go to the Historical Voodoo Museum. Something's Why is it right. so dark in here? Dr. John? Hello? Uh-oh. It's a constrictor! It's a constrictor! Moving that. Gabriel. Oh, come. Let's get that switch! We're getting strangled by a snake here. And we know it don't like that damn thing. You bastard! Good day, Mr. Knight. That thing just tried to kill me. He did? I am sorry. The museum is closed today, you see, and we were not expecting visitors. But, if you will excuse me, Mr. Knight, I must go look for him. He is incredibly valuable. You don't need to ask twice. I'm out of here. By the way, you might want to lock your door next time you're closed. Not a bad idea. Goodbye, Mr. Knight. Mm-hmm. All right, let's go back to St. George's. What happened to you? Who, me? Nothing. Why? Well, you're kind of a pale green color. Come here. Mm. Pale green, you say? Charming. What's that on your face? I'm sure you'll tell me. Looks like a sparkly or something. Got it. I love it when you pick stuff off my face, Grace. Hmm. Well, excuse me. Actually... There's something... Yeah, there is something in the ashtray, and... Yeah, back at a time when you could smoke inside. Looks like the python left me a souvenir. Very interesting. All right. Gabriel magnifies the snake scale from the Voodoo Museum's python. The iridescent scale is brilliantly hued with greens and purples. The ir Gabriel is carrying those two are those those Gabriel magnifies the scale from the lake hued with purples and greens it matches the scale from the voodoo museum he places the two scales together well now, I think we have a case to re reopen. I'm going out. Uh-huh.
Let's see if we can get the case to reopen it. Hmm. Somebody's there. Another of those drummers. Hey, hey, hey! Night, come on in. So let's talk with mostly. Can I ask you about some stuff? You're the writer. Ask away. Crash is dead. What? What are you talking about? I let him go yesterday. Yeah, and I watched him die yesterday at St. Louis Cathedral. At the cathedral? Guess he was trying to get a last minute A train ticket, eh? Poor bastard. Mm. I think you should go find the body at the morgue. He was killed by the voodoo cult. Crash said. Crash said? Did he mention pink elephants too? Aren't you going to investigate? Civilians. Did you actually see someone kill him? No. Actually, I was with him when he died. Could have been poison, though. Yeah, well, when they get the body in, they'll do a quick autopsy. Standard procedure. If it's anything other than an overdose, I'll get a report. Mm. But it won't happen. I know these guys. Lock them up overnight, and they tend to overdo it the next day. Your mm. professionalism is astonishing. Yes. There's been another murder. A professor at Tulane. Oh, Christ, you're not gonna start this again. Just listen. This guy's name is Hartridge. He was a professor in African studies at Tulane. Yesterday, I went to see him about the voodoo murders case. He agreed to do some research for me. He calls me up this morning, tells me he's onto something big. And when I get over there, the guy's dead. You know, you're really getting your ass in a sling over this thing, Knight. <laughs> it's not about me. Look, Hartridge's death look just like crashes. I'm telling you, they were both murdered. And by the same people who did the voodoo murders. Yep. Did either Crash or this new guy have their hearts ripped out? No. Then there's nothing to link either to the voodoo murders, M.O. Besides that, the case is closed, Knight. If the coroner's report asks for a homicide investigation on either of these guys, fine. But it's not going to be related to the voodoo murders case unless we find damn good reason to do so. But okay. I'm the link to the voodoo murders case, don't you see? Look, if I were you, I wouldn't repeat that to anyone. If I weren't an old friend of yours, I might take you seriously and lock you up. As it is, maybe you should start keeping your mouth shut. Not involve other people with this shit, if you think it's so dangerous. How can I convince you to reopen the case? We'll get the case I already reopened. told you. You need to... Prove there's a legitimate voodoo cult in New Orleans. Prove that they're a threat. I... Get me a lead on the cult. Okay. Let's start giving him the proof. Let's see. Okay. I have these two snake scales. One's from the crime scene at Lake Pontchartrain. The other's from a snake in the Voodoo Museum on Ursulines and Charters. Is this common? Do they all look alike? Not at all. They're both constrictor scales, and the coloring is the same. A python's coloring is quite individualistic. A python? That's right. Hardly an indigenous snake to Louisiana. Somehow, some way, the Voodoo Museum's python was at the scene of the Lake Pontchartrain murder. Well, I'd call that a lead, all right. It certainly suggests certain lines of inquiry at the museum. Not bad work, Knight. Whether or not the museum's involved with a legitimate voodoo cult, though, is another matter. These guys may just be faking it, too. Okay. Let's see, what was the next item? That work? I took this tracing from a tattoo on Crash's chest. It's related to the underworld voodoo cult. Yeah? What makes you think that? 
It's what Crash said just before he died. Mm. He was probably hallucinating from the drugs he OD'd on. Probably got that in the Navy or something. No, I'm sure it's related. It's a snake seed. And even if it were a signal of some sort, that doesn't prove that the murders were done by a legit voodoo cult. Okay. I can't fault him on that one. Alright, let's see. Should I show him the, the mess? No, but I'll show him this. You know those marks you found around the murder victims? This is a reconstruction of the whole pattern. What makes you think this is an accurate reconstruction? Well, I borrowed the partial patterns from your police file and did my own tracing of the pattern at Lake Pontchartrain. An architectural artist reconstructed it for me from the partials. Really? So this is the whole pattern, huh? Well, that's pretty good work, Knight. But that doesn't prove that this pattern is really connected to voodoo. Mm-hmm. How about his notes? Take a look at these notes. They're from Professor Hartridge at Tulane University. Yeah? And what about them? They confirm that the pattern from the murders is of African origin. Really? It's incredible, isn't it? Something like that chewing up here? <laughs> it's been here for quite some time, so it seems. I'm impressed. Okay, you've convinced me. The murders were done by a legitimate voodoo cult. All right. Now, let's see. Anything else? This is the last... Let's see if that works. If yeah. I have this snake bracelet. It's a replica of one used in secret voodoo ceremonies a few decades ago. Really? What makes you think so? I got it from an old Creole lady whose grandmother was an acolyte of Marie Laveau. Gabriel, <laughs> Gabriel. We get these little old ladies in here all the time. That bracelet is probably not genuine and it wouldn't prove anything if it were. All right, let's see. I wonder if this works. These sim Do they say anything about the murders? Well, not exactly. I'm sure that's a legit code of some sort, sort of night, but unless it gives me the names and addresses of the killers, I don't think it'll be much help at this point. Mm. Yeah, but These symbols are from Marie Laveau's tomb in St. Louis Cemetery. They're part of Do they say anything? Well, all right, let's see, anything else? This is... All right. Let's can I see. ask you? Let's see. How can I connect him? You still need me. Prove that they're a threat. That they're a threat. I have, I have that good, good. Just, just, just don't let it go. Okay, I gotta show that they're a threat. Yeah, yeah. Well, how do I do that? Hmm. It's on my news. Oh. Ah, that's the thing I need. That's it. There is a new special to my own work of the movie in 1810. That man is an exact match of voodoo do murders right down to the marks around the bodies. Mm. This does sound like the same old. 1810? Yep. 1810. They killed then. They're killing now. Isn't, isn't that proof that they're, they're likely to kill again? again? That they, they are a threat? Okay. They're a threat. Alright. Okay. I'll, I'll reopen the case. case. I'll I'll do it in a minute. You've done some pretty good detective work here tonight. Yep. Well, you know what they say. Imitation, Imitation is sincere. Well, 
Point taken. Glad I can inspire you. <laughs> All right. I'll check around the department, but I have a feeling I'm on my own. In fact, fact I better lock up this office just in case I step on a few toes. Good idea. Come on. And I think that's going to end day five. And we will cut it here. And then we will move on tomorrow to or next time to day six. Let this play out. Now lay low and let me handle this. Okay. Yeah, fine. All right. So we're going to save it here, and the next time round, we are going to continue the game. Again, this is Rich Kale here on YouTube, Rich Gen X Sales, where Richard of the Classic Gamers Guild, and. If you enjoy this, you can check out some of the other CR playthroughs I've done and put up on the channel, which includes Torrance Passage, Shivers, and Lighthouse to Dark Being. And until next time, I wish you all to have a good day and take care. Bye, all.